hi guys welcome to piping welding and dd channel so this is um isometric uh, symbols okay so this uh, symbols is always c in the isometric drawing so this is a typical uh, symbols okay so we will start from here so this is a gate bulb okay and we have a slip on flange and this is a weld neck flange this is a lap joint and we have a 90 degrees elbow okay if you can see they have a different from this gate bulb so we have three gate bulb okay and they have a different uh, symbols or different uh, joints okay if you see this dotted line so this is a gate bulb so this is a dotted line so it means if you see this dotted line it means this is a bat weld okay bat weld now this is a normal and this is a gate bulb also this is a normal so this is a screw joint okay remember this drawing this is a screw joint and this is also a gate bulb so we have a line here so this is a socket weld okay so this is a socket weld and this is a sleeve on flange and this is also um bat weld okay and we have a screw joint and we have socket weld this is a weld neck plans okay and this is screw joint and we have a socket weld so this is a socket see this you see the symbols so this is a socket okay and we have a lap joint and we have a 90 degrees L so this is a 90 so we have a 290 degrees elbow and this is a butt weld but they have a different symbols okay if you see this uh, dotted line without line you see the same date like this so this is a sharp weld and we have a field weld okay so this is a field weld and a sharp weld okay remember this and we have a union so this is a union this is screwed and we have a union of socket weld okay So, next drawing is regarding supports. So, we have a different symbols on isometric that we can see from the supports. Okay, and they have a different supports and also fittings. Okay, so I will draw and check a note please. So this line is a very important symbols okay so if you see this symbols in the line of isometric drawing so this is a flow direction okay flow direction so please um, take note this one and very important because if you installed a check bulb so this is a check bulb okay you must check the flow direction of the line so that the line of this check bulb is also with the same flow okay so we will draw here so this is a check bulb so the flow is if you see this this is a flow direction it means our flow is 
going here okay so this is a very important so next drawing is so this is a stop so this is in a support and we have also a guide so if you see the symbols so this is guide and we have a guide and shoes so if you see the symbols we have a guide and five shoe okay and also we have stop uh, stop and shoe and also guide so this is a stop and this is a guide and this is a five shoe okay So you are familiarized from this drawing. So this is a centric reducer and we have also a concentric so concentric reducer. So this is concentric and this is eccentric, okay? The difference is from this eccentric, the both uh, one side is flat. Okay, and we have also um, symbols of swage. So the swage is okay. So this is a symbol of swage, eccentric and concentric. Okay. So that's all for now guys and I hope you have learned regarding these isometric symbols. So this is a very important symbols from the isometric and have a nice day guys and see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and comment my video. Bye bye. Hello guys welcome to Piping Welding and DT channel. So this video is all about how to read or how you read the isometric drawings okay if you have an experience regarding this isometric drawing you know better how to read drawing but the, the beginning the beginner he need or she need to know how to read the isometric drawings okay First, for the isometric drawing, if you have isometric drawing, first you must check the revision number. Why? This revision numbers is a very, very important. This is a number one. Because if you uh, hold the old revision number and then you fabricate it, and then they have a new updating uh, isometric drawing or revision number your uh, your work will be cut it because they have uh, some uh, rev uh, revision of this uh, dimension or they have uh, some uh, fittings changing so this is a very important the revision number check the revision number for the isometric and also check the line number Check the sheet number. And all okay. And check the materials description if you have a starting to uh, fabricate it. This uh, also important the material this uh, description. So check the the five you installed it if this is stainless or this is a carbon steel you must check it to, or 106 or uh, for the fittings AU105 check the fittings also check the ratings the thickness and the dimension and also check the orientation
the elevation okay so this is the important you must know about to read the isometric drawing okay I will draw a uh, iso uh, line in the isometric drawing. So let's say this is our line. Okay. And this our north. Let's say we have a check bulb here. And our orientation. If you see this uh, flow, this uh, arrow, this is a flow direction. Okay. This is a check bulb. I'm sorry for the. Uh, these are wrong. This is a correct symbol of check bulb. So this is important. You must check the flow direction of check bulb for this for this flow of the line. Okay. The flow of check bulb, of course, is the same with this uh, flow of the line. So. This is how to read the isometric drawing. For your installing the check valve, you must uh, check the flow direction. Okay, and also we have a line here. Okay, if you see this uh, shadow, this is a horizontal shadow. So, you must aware from this shadow. Okay. And we have a vertical. So, this is the vertical shadow. So, you must aware for this um, shadow. If you are... Uh, um, if you are installing the fight, if you see this shadow, you must aware for this horizontal and the vertical, okay? So, that's all for now guys and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video we have isometric here a real isometric how to read uh, isometric drawing this is part two okay in my video this is a part two how to read isometric drawing so if you hold this isometric drawing first you must check the revision number this is for important revision number the sheet number the line number and the area and of, of course also the this uh, material description the five what type of five what type of fittings what type of plants and plants gasket bolts bulbs so this is the isometric drawing and also the this is the orientation okay if you fit up this um, check bulb Check the flow direction, the ratings, okay, the type of the check bulb, and the type of uh, a type of pipe, 
this is a carbon steel, a, three, a carbon steel or a stainless steel. So this is uh, isometric, okay? This is the spool number, and this is the joint number, joint number. If you see this is a joint number, we have a line there. This is a fill weld, and this joint 20 is a shaft weld. Okay, this is the dimension. This is important, the dimension. Okay, and this is the gate bulb, the flow direction. Okay, we have a flow direction. This this arrow is a flow direction, the spool number, the joint. Okay, if you see this uh, cloud, we have they have a revision from this drawing. Okay, this is the new revision. Okay, we have a continuation here, and also in this one continuation, the elevation, the northing and the easting. Okay, so this is the how to read the isometric. All uh, all uh, level here from the isometric, you must check it. Okay, if you are going to fit up or if you are going to uh, erection in the five ramp. Okay, what uh, check the northing. Okay, northing and elevation, and also the area. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. And this is the simple uh, the video to how to read the isometric drawing. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have uh, learned about this video regarding how to make how to read the isometric drawing part two. So thanks, guys, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.